What's the fundamental pattern of any market that's trending? Well, it depends on the direction, right? If the market's trending up, we expect to see higher highs and higher lows, and the downswings to be relatively the same. Now flip what I just mentioned over and you have a market that's heading down. This is certainly basic knowledge that any trader should know and be able to profit from. And I want to show you how trading pullbacks can do just that. Trading pullbacks in price is a basic trend trading move that has a huge following. Most educational websites talk about trading pullbacks in various ways and many also use different names for the pattern. It's pretty great marketing when you show incredible trades all using your special pullback pattern called the hip risk T play which means high probability, low risk trend play. Let's keep it real and call a pullback or one of its many variations for what it really is. It's a pause in the trending move. Eventually these pauses can begin a longer term move in the other direction, but let's keep everything relatively simple. Also, the probability leans on the trend continuing, not ending. Even if it ends, we have ways to get involved, but that's really beyond the scope of this piece. Now these pauses in the trend or the pullbacks, can generally either be one-legged moves, which are simple pullbacks, or two-legged variations called complex pullbacks on your trading time frame. Understand though that the pattern that you see on your trading time frame that appears as a simple pullback can often be a complex one on a lower time frame. By the same token, your complex pullback can be a simple pullback on a higher time frame. This chart here shows a red candle after a thrusting green candle indicating that we're in a pullback. However, all you really see in this time frame is pretty much a range, but Looking deeper, you will see this is actually a complex pullback. This chart here, it's one time frame lower and it tells a different story than the previous chart. Clearly a complex pullback, but the tip off was the formation on the previous chart with the shadow on the red candle. What looked like a difficult play on the longer term chart, you can see that an entry off this chart showed a much better structure. Now the question now becomes how to enter this move. I didn't find the cleanest example, but more often than not, we're not going to be facing the A plus trading conditions, and that's okay. It's okay because all we're looking for is an indication that the correction is losing steam. A complex correction actually gives us a great way to enter a trend trade long, and that's through a failure to break lower. Now the lower time frame chart shows us how to do just that. This long shadow indicates buyers either on a simple pullback on this time frame or a complex one on a lower time frame. Now where do all the textbooks and overpriced trading courses tell you to place your stop? Below the swing, but is that really the best spot? B, the second part of the pullback breaks below A, takes out the stop of the weak hand longs who had tight stops below the shadow. Now this should have you on alert for your entry into the trend. Since the trend is up and we see a failure to break lower after the complex pullback, those that are stopped out have to re-enter. You can see B breaks the low with strength, but there's no follow through. C, price closes back over the breakout point, indicating that the potential bear pressure has failed to materialize after the break. The green arrow indicates the candle where you would initiate a long position either on the close or a break of the high. Now it takes a few days for this trade to work out of this pullback, but when it does, it rallies over 400 pips in eight trading days. Now that sets up the complex pullback, but what if you only get a simple pullback? Now this chart here has a trend grinding itself up and while not favorable setup conditions on the trading time frame, the higher time frame supports the move with several failures of a lower break. This big red candle can be a concern, but remember, I mentioned the corrections to be relatively the same. This drop has the same symmetry of a previous correction, so it's not an unusual occurrence, but it's characteristic of the current volatility of this market. B, prices consolidating at the lows of the pullback, so the question is how to position ourselves into the move. Let's drop lower out of our trading time frame and see what we can locate when bullish pressure is mounting or at least have a structure that points to a break. Now this chart shows us a range forming inside the range close to an area that has shown resistance. When price holds close to one side of a range, it often indicates where the strength lies. So what are we seeing on this chart? A. Price pops to the low of the smaller range, can't hold, and then closes inside of the range. Now does this move look familiar? Well, we saw it on the complex pullback example. And B. We have several entries available. Once price breaks the low, fails to move lower, and then closes inside, it offers an entry. This candle breaks strongly out of the range, and you can buy the close or buy stop when price moves just above the candle. Now trading breakouts, I say is for suckers, because we hear they fail most of the time, and I agree, but there's a big difference between playing a breakout to play a breakout, 
and train the break to enter into a higher time frame structure. Now that's another topic for another piece. And this is certainly a top level look at pullbacks as there are a few nuances that have been left out for the sake of the piece. We also didn't cover stops and targets. Now there are other methods that you can use for pullback entries and some of the popular ones include trading indicators. By understanding price action, structure, and trading around areas where buying or selling pressure will enter at an imbalance, you can forsake many of the cookie cutter trading methods that just litter the internet. 